be lit up from 5 to 10 every night through New Year's Eve. Quite the sight to see there, huh, Dave? Uh, yeah, for sure. You know, and I was just thinking as we were watching that, here's the tree right now, live picture for you. Once they get the lights on the city and county building as Both well. Both gorgeous. Ooh, that whole area is going to be lit right. up for the holidays, right? 40 degrees in downtown Denver right now. A lot of people already checking the tree out down there. Clear skies across the state right now due to a nice warming ridge of high pressure right over Las Vegas. It's moving in over uh, most of Colorado, kicking out that Arctic blast that blew through here and just put us in the deep freeze for a few days, over six. 60 hours below freezing. It was just too much, huh? Uh, then tomorrow will be mostly clear all day long. We go into Monday. We'll be clear in the morning and then Monday afternoon. Just a few clouds drifting in in westerly flow, and that's a downslope wind uh, east of the Rockies, and that'll kick our temperatures up to start next week as well. Cold night tonight, though. We'll dip down to about 12 in Frederick. Should be about 19 in southeast Aurora, 21 in Roxborough and Golden. You're looking about 19. Hopefully you melted uh, some of that uh, foot of snow that you got yesterday. Of that big storm uh, in the mountains, single digits in a lot of locations like Vale at three, eight in Aspen, Gunnison, Alamosa, and Craig all below zero. And we'll have a few single digits too from Lyman down to La Hanta and Lamar. Most everybody in the east will be in the teens. Just those lower elevations tend to get that cold air uh, dropping down. So 50 in Littleton tomorrow and Sedalia, 48 in Erie, and should be about 48 in Commerce City as well. Temperatures in the mountains and west tomorrow, 30s and 40s there with the warmer stuff here across the eastern plains. Big because of that westerly downslope flow. Mostly clear skies tonight, light breeze blowing, 18 in the city, should be about 53 in town tomorrow, mostly sunny, warmer and breezy. And of course, we got a Bronco game coming your way tomorrow too. If you're going to that, you need a code. I think by uh, the time the sun sets, we'll drop into the 30s. Sunset is at 441 in that fourth quarter, so you will have to wear your warm clothes by that time. 52 on Monday, and that's kind of a change coming in because of that warming ridge of high pressure we showed you. That thing will kind of just center right over Colorado by Monday into Tuesday. Wednesday night, though, into Thursday, Turkey Day, there's another cooling trough that settles in that'll drop our temperatures and give us a little bit of moisture. So Wednesday night into Thursday, we have a chance of a few flurries here in the Denver metro area. Drop into 47 on Thursday. And if you're going to be in the mountains, you might get a couple of inches of snow Wednesday night into Thursday here. One to three from Aspen up into Steamboat and trace amounts around the Denver metro area. I just don't think it's going to be a a lot of snow for us. 59 on Friday, and then as you head into the weekend, the last weekend of November, we're looking at low 60s to mid 50s. Mm -hmm. I think that's a perfect shopping weather. A lot of people <laughs> go shopping on that Black Friday into the yes. weekend, don't they? You'll be all right to to get out there. So I don't think we're going to go cold turkey, but we're going to go cool turkey. <laughs> Look on at the you. Thanksgiving. Well, okay. I know that there's the turkey trot on Thanksgiving morning, and there's been a couple years that I've run that where it is oh. like b snowing sideways. Yeah. But people still show up and they turn out, and it's always a lot of fun. This so, one will be chilly, but not that not bad. Not that bad. You're mm -hmm. not running. You don't need the, those like the little crampons that you oh, put on you the go. bottoms of your yeah. shoes. You're not going to need that this time. I don't think you'll need it. All right. Dave, you, thank you so you much. Betcha. Well, it is one of the